Hey, Scorpio, welcome to your weekly reading for March 11th to the 18th. I am Charlene Lizette. We are just coming off of that new moon in Pisces. Your energy is going to be very spicy right now, and that's okay. You are tuning into the Piscean uh, psychic intuitive energy right now. And what I would say to you is it would be really, really, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like good for you. <laughs> Sorry. I was trying to find a bigger, a better word, but good. It'd be really good for you. If you take some time right now to really protect your energy, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Protecting your energy at this time would suit you tremendously. The reason for this is because you are moving into a very victorious place in your life, a very successful place in your life. And because you are in this precipice of leveling up, even as we enter into eclipse season and the spring equinox and the new, in the new year and all this stuff, this, this victory that's imminent here um, is more bringing up like the fluff like if you think about this um like let's use the example of horses right like when horses are at a horse race thum, 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 they bring up the dust behind them right like the the, the sand the, the, the dirt the dirt right and that's what's happening right now in your life you are on this path towards victory and all those shits getting lifted up because source is trying to show you one who are the snakes in the grass two who do you need to remove Three, what's the path forward? What's creating noise? Like universe is bringing up all this stuff for you to uh, get clear on, okay? If you have been feeling stuck or uncertain or blocked in life, this is going to be a week where some clarity may be provided to you, okay? I would also say to you, if you haven't learned how to read tarot, get on that, babe. Get on that. And I'll show you, and I'll show you why in a minute. That was dramatic to say the least. Let me show you what source source is sourcing. Okay. First, I'm going to tell you this card. It's an Oracle card and it says all paths lead home, inner authority, intuition, turn your gaze within. One of the most beautiful things that happens when you learn to read tarot is how to tune into your intuition, how to listen to the sacred messages. Tarot is this beautiful art form that provides you with insight, with clarity, with perspective on what is transpiring in your life. And this week, you're going to get clear on that. You're going to understand. You're going to have direction and purpose. With Waxing Crescent, inspiration, creativity, growth, accomplishments, and learning, this is an opportunity for you, again, to learn. I, I keep seeing this energy here of either you taking some sort of tarot certification, astrology, uh, Reiki, um, anything to do with the esoteric arts. Uh, really important for you to dive into that world, for you to explore that world and maybe even your psychic abilities, anything that will help you to share your gifts with the world. In addition, the more that you learn about these esoteric arts, the stronger your intuition will become, the better capable you will be of making these big moves in your life. Hi, I'm so happy to have you. Friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. Some of you could potentially have a friend who reads tarot or knows a lot about the esoteric arts, even witchcraft, candle magic, ritual magic, manifestation, like any of that stuff, money jars, like anything to do with witchy esoteric stuff, which you're a Scorpio, obviously. It's going to make sense. Hi, baby. In addition to that, it, that's what's going to lead you towards the success, right? That's what's going to lead you to this successful period in your life. You tuning into the esoterics, you turning into your own magic, okay? The magic, yeah, okay? Yes, Raven says, all right? We have the Page of Swords and the High Priestess. When I, hi, let me kiss you. When you tune into your intuition, your sacred wisdom, Source is going to be revealing so much to you. Source is going to be showing you the path forward. Source is going to be letting you know what's going on and with whom it's going on. And again, the high priestess does read tarot. The high priestess understands everything about the esoteric knowledge, all the divination tools that are available to her. And so my question to you would be, are you ready? The Five of Wands and the Empress card here indicate some sort of conflict or competition 
surrounding your abundance, your home life, your stability, your wealth, and everything that you are attracting in your life right now, your harvest, okay? This is also you fighting for your harvest. This is you fighting for your abundance. This is you fighting for your wealth, for your financial stability, for your security, and not letting anybody get in the way of it, okay? If you find yourself in this deep calling to step into your soul purpose, maybe it's starting a witchy tarot channel or sharing esoteric knowledge or healing knowledge on social media and somebody is trying to stop you, you know what to do. Page of Cups, Three of Wands following this. To me, this is saying get out of your comfort zone, tune into the inspired wisdom and go take that leap of faith. Go after what you desire. Go after what you deserve because a cycle is completing here for you. A cycle that will bring you forward a lot of success, a lot of happiness. You've got the Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck. We were talking about that. I want to move into your love reading. Before I do, you got Bologna as your amulet. Bologna is all about protection and amplifying that protection with the hematite energy, okay? So pay attention to who, what is showing up in your life that you may need protection from. Now, let's dive into your love reading here and see what's going on. Oop. Stay optimistic about your love life. Express your love. Do you want to pick the last one? Do you want to pick it? That one? Okay. Children. Hi, my little tarot reader. Yeah, you are, my little witch. Do you know how they say that female black cats were witches in past lives? Is that true, Ray Ray? Talk to the camera if it's true. Swords, five of swords. Stay optimistic about your love life, okay? Here is some conflict. Here is some difficulty. Here is some challenge around um, your love life. Uh, maybe the truth coming uh, to fruition regarding a situation, okay? The uh, Express your love and the ten of wands here. Swords is saying if you are in a relationship, you may be having some relationship issues, talk to your partner. Have conversations with them, okay? I think they want what you want, all right? And then children, hello, hi, eight of wands, yes. And for some of you, this means that you have to find a partner that is better suited for you, a partner that wants the same things that you do and if they this person that you're with right now doesn't want the same things that you want then you need to ask yourself why you're staying with them because it might be time to get out of your comfort zone and move on here and attract the right person in your life. just like this is what you get for telling them i'm a witch sorry okay i'm gonna pause this video here to help you out if you want to book a session or work with me in any capacity take a look at the description box below for my school where my tarot courses my money magnet workshop and all my other products are available to help you in your transformation thank you so much for your likes your comments your shares your subscribes we will see you later alligators peace out bye